Hey love girls, welcome back to Mama Sweet Tea. Here we are with another spirit baby message. So let's go ahead and tap into what the spirit, what your spirit baby is helping you heal. <laughs> excuse me, at this time, especially with this full moon energy. First, I want to say thank you so much for the comments, likes, shares, subscribers. Also for the personal bookings. Thank you guys so much. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Um, if you're also interested in a personal reading, all the information is down below in the description box. All right, let's, so let's tap in to the spirit baby. Spirit baby, what messages do you have for mommy and daddy? How are you helping mommy and daddy feel? What are you targeting in mommy and daddy in their hearts and in their minds? We have how teachable are you? An inner child. So I feel like this the spirit baby, your spirit baby, your rainbow baby. Um maybe at this time seeing not just how teachable are you, but how adjustable are you? How um it's another word that I'm looking for. It's not coming though. But I'm getting I'm getting that as well. How are you able to process, feel, adjust, adapt? That's what I was looking for. How how are you able to adapt to things? I'm hearing fight or flight. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Healing. Yeah, you might be the um in the type of energy where fight or flight, or you may be like a screamer. I'm also getting someone that reacts before they think. Or you might like be reacting and in the middle of your reaction, having the thought like, you know, this ain't right or you should cut that out or whatever. But it's like, because you've already shown your ass. <laughs> You don't really want to back back, even though you know you should. I feel like you're going in the uh, process of releasing that. You might be um, peeling back the layers of, of wounds, of trauma, of blockages, of issues. You know what I'm saying? Of thoughts, maybe things, negative self-talk and things that you tell yourself. Um, and you're starting to really sit with them and figure out where did those thoughts come from? Are they even yours? Where's the first time you heard that? Who voice is that really that you done turned into your own voice? Um, you may also be, yeah, we have victim consciousness. You may also, with the inner child, you may also be um, spending or being guided to spend more time with things that you like doing while you were a child or the things that bring you playful energy, things that bring you peace and happiness and makes you feel free you know it makes your imagination run and make you feel like you can do anything you know things of that nature <laughs> we have victim consciousness here I'm going underneath how teachable are you you may also be stuck in your waves collective divine feminine divine masculine Stuck in your ways when it comes to doing certain things or thinking of a certain way. Um, and that could be another reason why it's, it's your spirit baby's asking, how teachable are you? You may be saying like, oh, something never works for me or I'm not able to do this or not able to do that. Or people just always judge me or <clears throat> whatever you're saying. But it's like, it's because you're not, again, adapting. You're not adjusting. You're not going with the flow i feel like there are some things places attributes traits characteristics um actions just different things that you do that can no longer serve you and go where you're going and with you trying to hold on to them you're like really feeding yourself an illusion that you know life is out to get you or um life is just happening to me when really life is trying to happen for you it's just the way you perceive things, your way of thinking, excuse me, that has you in that energy. We have fa have faith here underneath inner child. 
I'm getting a sense that some of you is time to mother your yourself. Yes, sexuality at the bottom of the deck. Red, I'm getting root chakra energy. It's time for you to mother yourself and have faith. And the guidance and the insight and the messages and the path and the journey that you're heading down, that you're headed on. Some of you may feel like an outcast or like the, I don't want to say black sheep of the family, but it's kind of the energy that I'm getting. But you feel like outcasted. Because you, you're you're trying to pave your own way. Maybe you are trying to raise your kids differently than the way that you were raised. Um, maybe you just, you know, go the, the different route. While everyone in your family may have went right, you was like, man, I'm going to go check out and see how left going over here. And then I'll let y'all know. Like, continue to have that faith when it comes to you elevating, you growing, and you ascending as well. And those different experiences also bring you the, the mental experience and the emotional experience that you need on this journey as well. Sometimes it's not always what you know. It's what you feel. It's what you think. It's what you say. Say what you mean, mean what you say. How teachable are you in a trial with them kind of capacity? So maybe you guys are in a, um, right now in the energy of like saying a lot of things. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. But not really making any actions behind it. It's time for you to not only say what you mean, but me when you say walk the walk and talk the talk. I feel like someone's watching you as well. You may feel like you might not have any support or no one is um, interested in what you do or whatever it is, but I feel like someone's watching you to see if the energy that you're putting out there or your you say that you desire, you say that you're working toward, if you're actually working towards it. Also, I feel like um, not only that this may be like a 3D physical energy, I feel like this is also spiritually God looking over your shoulder, double checking everything, making sure you're keeping your your align your prayers, your affirmations, your requests, your agreements. Any other messages, spirit? Any other messages, spirit, baby? Any other messages, spirit? <clears throat> any other messages spirit baby any other messages how oh, is mommy and daddy healing their self at this time I feel like you need to spend time with meditation so you can see your spirit baby These are the only ones that split. We have rejection and procrastination. With sadness at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I was about to say, I feel like some of you have been... I don't know. Either... Somebody just told you they don't want to have a baby by you or they're not interested in like building a family with you. But it's like, but you're good enough to have sex with, you're good enough to Netflix and chill or things of that nature, but they're not interested in re re pre copying, however you say the word, you know what I'm saying? But reproducing with you. And I feel like they've dragged this out telling you as well. They kept telling you, wait for this time, wait for this time. Let me finish this project, this job. I have this deadline. I have to do this. Let's get this amount of money. Da, 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 da. Let's open this business, you know. 
I feel like it was a lot of um, procrastination, dreams being sold. You may have supported this person, um, you know, while they were on their come up or whatever they were trying to secure or whatever that they were doing. So they needed to feed you those lies in order for you to continue to feed them what they needed. You know what I'm saying? I feel like now that they got up on their feet, they're kind of like, yeah. Um, actually, I'm not interested in having children with you. I've never actually seen you as my children's mother. Um, like, I don't even see life with you that far. Like, when I think of the future, I, I don't see you. And I feel like your spirit baby is helping you handle the rejection, the lies that you've been told, the realizing that you have actually been procrastinating. We have discovered your life purpose with Phoenix Rising. I feel like this, um, whatever type of disaster it is, even if it isn't exactly as I described, you know, um, place the situation where it fits. But I feel like this is going to open you up to the path of your energy, your strength, of your gifts, of your talents, of your abilities, of your worth, of your value. You know what I'm saying? Like figuring out what path you're exactly supposed to take. You may feel like you're burning right now. There's a death going right now, baby. You might feel like, you feel me? If I'm I'm, if I'm being burnt to ashes, how the hell I'm coming back? Because you're the phoenix rising. Because you're the phoenix rising. And all this did was put fuel to your fire. You see my heater coming back on now? Because you the phoenix rising. And all this did was put fuel to your fire. To ignite in your gifts and your life purpose. And put you on the trajectory of the path and the journey that you're supposed to be on. Okay. I also feel like Spirit Baby is helping you. So stop holding space for people that is no longer in your life. And not in the you can't love anyone, you know, but it's like, I feel like some of you like hold on though. I feel like your spirit baby is helping you to release people and also having discernment and being able to see through the lies, see through not only what the person is saying, but what also they're not saying. Any other messages, Spirit Baby? Any other messages, Spirit Baby? We have Soulmate with Sexuality coming back in at the cards. So yeah, I feel like you're definitely walking into an energy of self. You're definitely walking into an energy of loving thyself, knowing thyself. It's actually a lot of um, red and green out here too. So you could be working on your chakras from your root to your heart chakra. I also see a lot of blue out here. So you may be just speaking your truth. Maybe it isn't to um, other people, but maybe it's you speaking your truth in a mirror. Maybe you writing, um, you know, in your journal. Maybe you singing certain songs that resonate with your situation for you to be able to release energy that way. Whatever is working for you. Um, I definitely see the, the work that you have been trying to put in. And this has made, maybe has been confirmation for someone to know that they're on the right path. Any other messages, Spirit? That was supposed to be the last one, but I'm getting called to pull one more. One more, Spirit. One more. What messages do you have for a love book? One more, Spirit, baby. Self-love. With soulmate. You are your own soulmate. And I feel like you're realizing that. Like, don't get me wrong, you have a divine partner, you have a divine union that you will come into contact with, you will come into communion with, commitment with, but you also realize that you are your first soulmate. You realize that you are, you know what I'm saying, the love of your life. You are the other half to you that makes you whole. And I feel like that's what spirit has been pulling out of you Yep, love at the bottom of the deck. That's what your spirit baby has been pulling out of you. It's the love for yourself. 
That's why we've been doing a lot of introspection, a lot of self-realization, a lot of um, like really just being able to catch your thoughts in the middle of you thinking them. You know what I'm saying? It's not taking a, a, a lag. You know what I'm saying? Lag time. I feel like you're able to catch your thoughts as they come through. And you're now doing like daily assessment. You may be also catching yourself from saying certain words or certain phrases or even thinking a certain way. Or maybe doing a certain habit that you would normally do. And you'll be like, huh, no, nah, I, I ain't doing that. You know, definitely getting that type of energy. There will be any other messages we have for mommy and daddy. What other messages do we have for mommy and daddy? Baby, what other messages do we have for mommy and daddy? What other messages do we have for mommy and daddy? Expect communication. Daddy, mommy is getting impatient. Daddy, mommy, daddy, stop listening to those doctors. God is a miracle worker. Any other messages for mommy or daddy? Any other messages, insight, guidance for mommy or daddy? Daddy, mommy misses you. That's going underneath expect communication. Daddy tried to call you, but you changed your number. So, some of you guys need to, um, you know, you probably wondering why this person didn't reach out to you. And it's like, duh, I can't. It's kind of hard to get in contact with you nowadays. Any other messages you have for your mommy and daddy's spirit, baby? Any other messages? Mommy, daddy loves you. I don't like hot, spicy foods. So the spirit baby won't like hot foods or maybe you or your divine partner doesn't like hot foods. Any additional messages, spirit baby? Daddy, your pride ego is getting in the way. You're running out of time. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be genuine and pure. Yeah, I feel like the Spirit Baby has been doing a lot of work on both ends. For you guys and with you guys. That's so many guys, Spirit. <laughs> In a few weeks, still fill back out. Spirit, what messages? Spirit, baby, what messages do you have for mommy and daddy? I didn't want to go, but I had to. I'll be back soon. So this is for some of you guys that may have had a rainbow baby or a miscarriage. Baby wants you to know that they, they, they'll be back soon. We have the wild card coming out. So expect the miracles. Right now, make a wish on this wild card. All right, breathe in. Make your wish. Breathe out. Blow your wish into the atmosphere. And give it back to the earth for it to do its thing. All right. Make a wish. Or should I say make a manifestation? We have beginning of time. So you and your divine partner have been together in this union for many eons, many lifetimes. From the beginning of time, look at the separation as an illusion. Mommy, 
Daddy is spying on you. Peekaboo. <laughs> Mommy, make sure to take care of yourself. That's exactly what this reading is about. Self-care. How your spirit baby is helping you to take care of self. Any other messages, spirit baby? Any other messages, spirit baby? There's too many messages, spirit baby. Any other messages, spirit baby? Mommy, daddy misses you. Oh, mommy, excuse me, mommy, daddy misses you. Daddy, mommy misses you. So this is the card to let you guys know that when you think of them, they also think of you. Okay, so you guys are feeling the pull because you're missing each other. Any other messages, spirit baby? Any other messages? Any other messages, spirit baby? Any other messages? Mommy, daddy, go get tested. So if you guys are just getting out of some type of karmic relationship or just a relationship, period, um... You know, or maybe it wasn't a relationship. Maybe it was a situation ship, so friends with benefits, whatever it is. Um, take the time to go get tested and, again, take care of your health. Okay, I, Mommy, make sure you take care of yourself out here, too. So, Mommy, Daddy, go get tested before you go laying your, um, your special sauce on your divine feminine or masculine. Go get tested. You know, go get tested together. <clears throat> Daddy, why won't you tell mommy how you really feel? Mommy, daddy looks different. Give him lots of compliments. I'm getting daddy looks stressed. <laughs> That's what I heard. True love. Love transcends all dimension, time, and space. Again, you guys have been together since the beginning of time. You guys were created together, created for one another. You know, I know they say that we were all created at the same time and, you know, blah, 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 blah. But you, you, you two guys, you two extensions of God, of the Most High, Look at 666 popping out with a whole bunch of stack. I'm trying to make sure I get all the cards. This. Okay. But yeah, 666 popping out. Yeah, when you guys were divine, when you guys were designed, when, you, when your two extensions of God was created, you guys were assigned to one another. Twins. Some of you may be manifesting twins or you desire twins. They're definitely coming through. Any other messages, spare baby? Any other messages for mommy and daddy, spare baby? Any other messages for mommy and daddy, spare baby? I'm a girl. We're going to take these. We're going to end with some angel prayers. And we're going to wrap it up. One, one plus years. So it could have been a year or a year plus of the separation. Or remember, the separation is illusion. But what may have been the illusion of separation. We have divine union and wedding bells. All right, or you guys could be coming back into union after this one plus year. And you guys are automatically going into wedding bells. Because again, you guys are each other's true mate, true love, divine partner. And the more that you love yourself, mommy, daddy, the more that you, you know, realize the things within yourself and heal those different blockages traumas and issues within yourself, the more you are calling your divine mate into you as well. So keep doing the work, my loves, because they are coming and your divine baby is assisting you. All right, spirit baby, let's end out with some prayer messages. What prayer messages do you have for my man, guys? 
Spirit baby, what prayer messages do you have for mommy and daddy? So we have don't hate, meditate. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to love through meditation. Again, like I said earlier, spend time in meditation so you're able to see your baby's face. So it can show you the visions of the future and of the different things that are incoming to you. Shine your light, Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. Honor your beauty, Archangel, Archangel Jaffiel. Thank you, Jaffiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Again, I feel like that goes into you loving who you are now, you loving who you were before, you spending time with your inner child, you just taking time to self-reflect in your own energy. We have count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for blessings in my life, for the blessings in my life. Manifesting miracles, Archangel Aryan. Thank you, Aryan, for manifesting your miracles in my world. Let's go one more. Angel message, baby. We have balance. Thank you, angels, for bringing balance into my life. Bringing my life into balance. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, we have time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. So you're definitely being accompanied by your spirit baby, your spiritual team, God, all those galactic beings and those from different dimensions and galaxies that have your highest intention at heart. Because I remember you've been here before. So not only do you have your, your, your family, your ancestors, but you also have friends, associates, and, and beings of different places and high places as well willing to assist you. So spirit baby wants you to know to keep loving, keep growing, keep releasing. Continue to love yourself. Continue to get to know yourself. Because as you fall in love with yourself, as you get closer to yourself, that's you getting closer to your divine mate as well. All right, my love. If that resonated, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so guys so much for tuning in. And I'll be back with another one soon. Namaste.